and Tom right there in the hospital. I'm yelling at him regarding a uh, criminal file that he's found on my desk regarding him. He's screaming at me because I'm trying to destroy his good name, if he's got one. I, I tell you, it was real unattractive. I'm certainly glad I wasn't there. And what do you mean, if he has a good name? Now, Robert, you don't seriously believe that he has anything to do with the kidnapping, Anna. Come on! Seriously? No. But I'd be remiss if I didn't look into every nook and cranny now, wouldn't I? Hmm? Yeah, I guess so. I tell you, I haven't encountered a case in quite a while that's had this many blind alleys and foggy days. Did you get a chance to look at any of the other files that Felicia and I pulled for you? Yep, good work. I couldn't have assembled a more motley crew myself. Yeah, it looked like Satan's army to me. I got Lewis to do a check on them. What percentage isn't on parole or on ice are accounted for day and night on various work release programs. <laughs> I can see what you mean by blind allies. Robert, um... Finish it. No, no, forget it, forget it, forget it. Perhaps you were going to say uh, you're losing hope? No, it's not that at all. It's just that this is not a kidnapping case. Yeah. Uh, where's the ransom demand? Where's the demand for an aeroplane to fly to Libya? Where are the taunting little notes in the newspaper? Exactly. We got the note along with Anna's picture, and then silence. It's got to be in there somewhere. What are we missing? Who is this guy? Amy said you wanted to see me? Yeah, I did, Ted. Sorry for interrupting your lunch, but listen, tell me what the problem is here. Watson looks like he's gone through a total collapse. He was making good progress. You signed out on his chart last night. I don't know exactly what happened, but he's not going to get better very fast if he's up and around half the night. Up and around? Yep. I came in just before 9 o'clock, and Watson here was just getting back into bed. He was very woozy, but not too woozy to be pretty hostile. Tried to find out where he'd been, how long he'd been wandering around, but I couldn't get anything out of him. What happened to his IV? Well, that's when I checked his chart and realized he must have pulled it out. He's missed several hours of medication. Yeah, I can see that, too. I think he was trying to escape the hospital until he realized he was too weak. Maybe. I'd like to know what's with this guy. He says he's a man from nowhere with nowhere to go. He obviously feels like death warmed over. Why does he want to leave the hospital? so I figured I might as well come here and go bonkers among friends. <laughs> Something tells me you did not get a letter from Jake this morning. Nope, not this morning and not any other morning. But I did something. Maybe something good, maybe something not. What? Wrote Jake a letter. And I said to him, so what is this, a test or something? Did you forget the address or something? And then I told him that I love him no matter what. That's great! Yeah, so now that I've written it, what do I do with it? Mail the letter. I probably should mail it, because I keep thinking about this, and the more I think about it, the more angry I get at Jake. You're just picking up and leaving me stuck like this. Well, you can write him another letter, and you can tell him how mad you are. But first, mail this one. I don't even have his address. I'm sure the agency that he's working for knows his address. Why don't you call them? Thanks, Amy. Two days. Look, kill me if you wish to live your life. 
Well, you didn't lunge at me, did you? Mum. I've got to get this wire rigged up. And I'll finish you. Get out of here. Before that lunatic gets back. <laughs> If you want to play, let's go play in the playroom, not under the bed, okay? Robin. Robin, wait! Robin. Robin, stop, stop, stop. Calm down. What is the problem? Robin. Robin, would you listen to me? Would you answer me? Robin. Robin, look, somebody's going to have to clean this mess up. Would you just calm down? Robin, what is wrong? She's just running wild in here. I don't know what the problem is. She's acting like, like she's looking for something. I don't know what it is or if it's imaginary or what. Robin, calm down. Well, maybe it's real sweetheart. So are you playing or are you looking for something? Is that it? You looking for something? Felicia, would you please stay here with her? I have got to get back to the desk. Would you please? Yes, we'll be fine. I know you're trying to tell me something. I can see it in your eyes. I don't know what it is. Maybe if you wrote down what you're trying to say. You know that old saying that a picture says a thousand words? Hmm? A circle. Okay, well, could you write down something else that might tell me what the circle means? Go on. What is it? What, uh, my fingers? What? Go, go on. My fingers, what? What? What is that? What is that? Come on. What is that? Come on, what is this? Ring, 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 ring. What about it? Is it about my ring? Ring, ring, ring. What? Who's ring? ring? Who's ring. ring, sweetheart? Ring, 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 ring. I'm gonna call ring. your father. Ring, 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 Scorpio Divine. Can you hear this? Ring, ring, ring. It's Robin. Ring, what? Ring, what's she saying? She just keeps saying ring over ring, and over again. Ring? Yes, like the ring, ring on your ring, finger. It's, ring, it's just ring, the ring, same old word. Well, uh, 
Apart from that, how's she doing otherwise? Pain. Well, she's, she's looking Pain. straight in the eye. She's frantic. This word is obviously Pain. very important to her. It's got to have something to do with Anna. Uh, listen, um, uh, ask her... Uh, no, never mind. Uh, listen, sweetheart, I'm on, my, I'm, I'm on my way, all right? I knew you'd be the one. Bye-bye. Robinson, you're talking again? Maybe. I'll go with you. Uh, listen, if you could, um, mind the, uh... Yeah, I'll take care of the phones. Don't worry about it. He'll tell you. All right, go, go, go. What's going on? Because it's urgent that I find out my husband's mailing address. How long? Nurse McManus, report to Dr. Ozazi. All right, thank you. I'll be at this number. Nurse McManus, report to Dr. Ozazi in medical records. Tom, you know, I really can't stand having a fight with you. Oh, I know, but don't you just love making up, huh? Yes, it yeah. does have its moments. <laughs> you two are a sight for well, sore eyes. Well, how's that? The way you're glowing at each other, it's very nice to see. Oh, it's nice to live inside of, too. <laughs> What's happening with wedding plans? Well, it's funny you should ask. We were just talking about something. <laughs> there's good news and there's bad news. But not bad, bad news. No, I'm not awful. Oh, well, tell me. Well, the good news is we are getting married in the chapel here at General Hospital. That's wonderful. That's perfect. The last Friday in February. The 26th. And what's the semi-bad news? Uh, well, we have to find a larger place to live. But Bobby, I love the attic apartment. It's just too small for two people. Oh, of course, of course, I understand. The move won't be right away, though. No, we would wait till you found another tenant. We wouldn't leave you holding the bag. Yeah, not with Jake gone. Come on, you two. I don't want you changing your plans because of me. I'm a grown-up. <laughs> Look, Bobby, we feel it's the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. If your friends don't stand by you when you need them, then who will? That's right. Hmm? Have I told you lately that I think you're a wonderful man? Mm, no, so I did not. <laughs> Look, Bobby, don't worry, really. It's what we want to do. And I think he's very lucky because he's marrying a woman that he deserves to have. Um, well, we better go before <laughs> she starts pinning medals on us. Okay, to work. See you later. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Your friends don't stand by you. <sighs> Jake. Dr. Hardy, Dr. Tom Hardy, please report to room 419. Dr. Tom Hardy to room 419 staff. Hey, Bill. Hey, listen, what are you up to, man? Wandering around the hospital in the middle of the night? Missing out on your medicine? Missing out on your beauty sleep? Where'd you go last night? Got a hot date you're not telling me about? Okay, pal, you get some rest after a wild night on the town. Patrick, I have some wonderful news, or at least it's good news. What's up? Robin, she finally spoke. Well, what did she say? Could she tell who kidnapped Anna? I don't know, uh, because they closed off the room until Robert gets here. Well, obviously Felicia called him. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine how he feels? Oh, listen, I feel sorry for the little girl. She has been through hell. I know, I'm sorry, Lee.